Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you an achievement guide. This time we're going to walk you through how to get the full 1000 for Brawl Chess Gambit. Now this game came out just a few months ago on November 20th, 2020. It was developed and published by Red Deer Games and you can pick it up for $9.99. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to get all the achievements in the game. Um, there are three achievements for difficulty levels in chess. So depending on your own skill level, you might need to use a little bit of an assistance device is what I'm going to call it, um, by a website. I'm going to have a link down in the description. So there's achievements for beating the game on all three difficulty levels and understanding that everybody has their own skill level at chess. You'll come into this options menu and change the difficulty from one, two, or three. I have a link down in the description called chessnextmove.com. It's where you can actually use um, a computer program that you select the pieces that move around on your screen and then you match those movements to what happens on your game. This will help you knock out all three of those wins fairly easily. Um, you should knock out game difficulty one no problem, but if you're not a big chess player, that'll help you out quite a bit. So the first achievement we're gonna dive into is winning a game of chess in eight moves. Now the way you're gonna wanna do this is you're gonna wanna boot up a second controller. So once you have your two controllers, you're going to set the game up uh, using your controller. And then we're going to do a couple very specific moves. So the first one is you're going to play the white side. You're going to move the fifth pawn up two spaces. After that, you're going to move the fifth pawn on the black side down two spaces. After that move, you're going to move the um, knight up uh, just to the bottom right of the uh, first pawn you moved. And then you're going to move the fourth pawn on the black side down one. After that move, we're going to move the opposite knight on the bottom left up alongside. Once you've completed that move, you're going to move the black bishop all the way down just to where he's just above your right knight. After that move, you will move your right bishop just above your left knight. Once that move is completed, you're going to use the black bishop that you moved and take out your right white knight. And then you're going to move your white queen and take that bishop's location and take him. Now then you're going to move the seventh pawn on the black side down two spaces. And then you're going to move the white bishop all the way up on the right side taking the sixth pawn. You're then going to move the queen um, for the black side up one space. And then you will move your queen up um, between the two black pawns. After that move, you're going to move the black right knight to the right side. And then you're going to move the white knight up between the two black pawns on four and five. And once you complete that move, that will give you checkmate in under eight moves. Now the next um, ones we want to knock out is trying to promote a pawn so we're also going to knock out another achievement at the same time going to the options menu if you haven't already change your playstyle to classic you do need to win a game with the classic style now it doesn't really matter how you do this because you can knock it out in a variety of games you will have to grind multiple games playing because um, you do need to get a total of 250 um, pieces taken so what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of control the board. Your goal here is going to be to get that left pawn all the way up. And we're just going to control that with both of our controllers, navigating him all the way up, but not taking um, our other pieces. So we'll clear the space here. And we'll just continue to walk him forward. And then you have to make moves. So clear out one pawn um, space, and then we're just going to move the king and queen up back and forth. Now once you move this pawn up, you'll get an achievement for promoting a pawn. It turns your pawn into a queen. Um, then we're just going to move everybody around. Now you need to work on taking out 250 pieces. So to do this, we're simply just going to have the queen constantly take pieces like it says. Um, we'll walk them around, eliminating all the pieces. Be careful not to trigger a checkmate because otherwise it'll end the game. 
um, if you trap the king where he can't go, and it's just going to cause you to not be able to take more pieces than what you want in time. Um, and then you're just going to repeat this process um, until you have um, really every piece taken out. Um, you want to also finish in this run a game where there are only 50% of the pieces on the board available. So what we're going to do in this case is also let a couple of our pieces get taken out by the, you know, your player two, however you're controlling it. Uh, sorry, trying to control two analog sticks here can be a little confusing. Because you want to get under 50 pieces on the board. That will also trigger you an additional achievement. So we'll continue moving the pieces around here. And then this is also the same method you can use for getting the 250 pieces. You also need to get a win for not having your queen um, taken out. So we're also knocking that out at the same time. Oh, it's like our king is checkmate and checkmate. So once you get down to 50 pieces, percent of the pieces on the board, this will also unlock another achievement for you. Um, it is also like very important though, don't lose your queen during any of this. If you do, um, it'll, it won't continue and progress. You'll be able to do this plenty more times, but it'll cause you to have to reset at least this portion. We should be close to the 50% pieces. And then you're pretty much just going to rinse and repeat this process. Um, once you complete all these out, you'll get the full 1000. You know, like I said, you'll need to win all three of your difficulty modes. So don't be afraid to use the assisted site that I have linked in the description for helping you beat those harder difficulties. Um, outside of that, if you guys have any questions, want to know more on how to complete this game, um, the only other real achievement you're going to need to try to complete in addition is getting a draw. Um, odds are you'll be able to complete this just traditionally playing the game, but a draw is where um, can't get a checkmate but both kings can't really do anything so the best way to do that is if you just keep following along here i'll show you how to complete out a draw right. so what we'll do is we'll trap this one in a draw and the best way to do a draw is get your kings literally next to each other where neither king can make a move. Alright, now that we've wiped every piece out but the king, now we're just going to walk the kings into corners. And that'll trigger a draw. So if you just follow those moves, moving your queen and bishop around, you'll trigger your draw achievement. Um, pretty much this is going to take you probably about an hour or so to get the full 1,000 because you will need to take 250 pieces. But if you follow the, uh, the chess solver link to complete all three of the difficulty modes, that will really help make the game you know, a lot easier for you. Outside of that, if you guys have any other questions, um, Get stuck anywhere let us know down in the comments i'll be glad to help out outside of that i hope this guide leads you to the full 1000 if you do get the thousand give us a thumbs up if you have any already subscribe to the channel and if you want join our discord we're doing giveaways all the time we did give away a couple copies of this game so maybe you can win a couple uh for the next easy achievement games outside of that i hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll catch you next time